The message is about uh, protecting our country. So all, all the stories, stories that I sat back and I watched, watched, watched over watched the years, years, a long time, put it all together. And come out of this message that life is just too good. So the future, with all the mineral rights and all the mining industries coming to our country, CSG, a carbon project that creates protection for our family, our country, to maintain our sex exercise and utilize our family, to grow proper bush dust and medicines. Vegetables and herbs and fruit, fruit, all from this land to maintain their spiritual journey. Once again, it always comes back to that spiritual journey. Because when we are all dead and gone, we are going back to that spiritual journey. So life begins again with our people who are total. And say to family and all those, which is so important to us. And the respect of your great grandmother, your great grandmother, the story will be shared here, it's got to be shared here and cared here. Because every story that they told or will tell, it's a message. It's not just a story. So, Google Baby, we we'll thank you. And I owe you. The spiritual journey. Lewis, may I ask a few questions that I feel maybe while while you're here, people might be interested to hear what you have to say. Um, we're just a matter of days away before the the G20 is happening uh, in Brisbane. Uh, have you got anything specifically that you'd like to express to those representing other nations at that meeting? represents us down here as a nation. And it all depends if they are going to get out of the okay. Or get pushed aside by this system. Their words ain't good enough. So a message to all. A carbon project will solve some problem for the future of the session land. A carbon project that will that will get rid of all the old trees that were grown back then. And you get rid of them. Some of them trees are all grown and they are called mongrels. They are crossed over the trees. So we chop them all trees down and because we don't want them strange no more, we want our own strange back, the first original trees. So it's hard to get them down the strange. So we'll create for future generations. Because when we chop up trees down here, we mold it all up, we make fuel, we make oil. And then we go and clean the desert and cleaning all the mountainside and the ocean with all that oil and petrol and 
And in regards, you made a comment about the government. Uh, in this case, I wanted to clarify 
uh, what the government is in, in your reference because I'm aware that uh, we currently have a boat person as our um, Prime Minister, uh, someone who actually wasn't even born on this land, who now dictates to other people in coming to this great land uh, certain terms and conditions. What, what do you feel you'd like to say to people about their welcomeness to come to this land? First of all, there will be no invitations. That was written to the people. It was been understood their language. It was understood who they were. Are you referring to the original uh, colonization? I'm long lied back when they first come to the country. And then we just have a whole start. Never start now. You know, we all start right back right then. You know, to come forward, you know. Right now, all oh, the bastardization. Because, like I said before, we had no witnesses back then. They just moved us from my land and said that there was no one there. Right? Of course, we couldn't speak our tongue. This is the reason why they live in our country today and got all our sacred land. Right? Give us the Bible, take our land, which is wrong. Right? So, the government. Oh, some of the government, government turned out to be community liars, TV and others. So easy and so quick, within 230, 150 years. You know, not even 300 years. Right? But the understanding of that is, we got over the fear. This is what we were going to teach the government. Right? I got over the fear. Right? Some other people got over the fear. And we just want to go on forward. Because our children and their children are the future. It's all about the future, not about now. It's not about what's happening now. Dharma. These 75 are 25 are 35. It's real. Dharma. Because we don't live long. Not in this society with all the poisonous foods. So this carbon project that we're creating comes with our best doctor, our medicines, our proper medicines for our body. For our own system, system. our body is different to other humans. We are different. We are different, different. We are different. people. Our, our body and immune system is so, 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 so fragile yeah. because we never had all this. We never had all this. But we look at things because we get out of fear. And forgiveness is the biggest thing that we can ever do. Is to open our heart and forgive you people. Forgive those who don't know. We forgive them. We stay on the edge of God. We feel sorry for them because we know who we are. Too willing to share this story. But the government. It's just, just a, a private organization that came to New South Wales under the Congress Law and the New India, yeah, yeah. which is wrong. Took away our rights. Like I said, it'll be new in our own land. But strength upon us all, as we walk this sacred land today, has one way. Peace upon us all. As we share the song and dance of this wonderful tradition. It's the understanding that we have believed in now is to see for their grandchildren and their grandchildren. So, who will win? No way. No way. Well, who will win? Yeah. I think Coin went up. I'm clear to get out of my way with me every day now. Oh, okay. Um, well, yeah. yeah. Well, I just wanted to say, like, just to, to, to bring this back to the, we're all got a personal connection with what you might be, what you're saying. Um, my my dad was a boat person, and he now kind of resonates with some of the rhetoric that our current prime minister um, says, and which is seems very critical to me that you've come here and now you're telling everyone else that they don't have a right to come here, which is what you have, and I'm certainly not complaining because. 
my dad came here and you know, I have a connection with this land and it's just through my birth on this land. And so I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle, you know, between, you know, having been an original and uh, yet I have a connection with the earth. So everyone's hearing your story and has to create culture with your saying of walking as one. There must be a solution where we're walking forward together rather than being stuck in an argument that we're never solved because it, it happened before. Yeah, now we have to learn from we're it. We're walking towards the future. We're walking to the end of the spirit with our grandchildren and their grandchildren and their grandchildren. It's not going to go back. So the last man standing on the day that we associate with uh, when colonisation came to this land Last man standing, what does it mean to people? Why would they come there and say freedom. freedom? It's freedom for people. It's freedom for people. It's freedom for our country. We want the government going. We want to control our own country now. We've got enough smart people to do everything under our administration. Proper law. Everything, what they've done today. Every reason to come body. We've got every Aboriginal person, person is working in there. So we are smart people. We are all coming together to be smart. And that's why we got all these smart people out there doing it, Aboriginal people. Going to the universities, learn their tongue, learn their way of thinking. Do this way, do this way. It was trained by our old people through the blood, our genealogy. You know, the Guru of the Emerald of Trust is a gut feeling. Now you have our genealogy, unconditional feeling. You know, it's so real. So the gut feeling for people who have come to this land and they feel like they own some of this land and that they want to protect what they now feel that they have. What what do you have to say to, to those people that are here? Yeah, well, no, I'm not here. <laughs> no, I'm not here. No, I'm walking up there and knock on the door and say, excuse me, brother or sister, or uncle or auntie. Would I be able, able to, to have about, about 10, 10, just 10, 10 yards, yards or maybe 50, 50 yards, yards of a little block, block down near the river of your property, like my road, and proper medicine, medicine, medicine safe 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 going to the shop. Can, can we do that? that? Mm. Can you show, can you give us a little bit of land just to do this? this? Yeah. We'll support you with your fresh fresh ready and healthy medicines. Yeah, I'm and, 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 and we'll, we'll, and we'll, we'll keep, keep on growing all the way to you. Yeah. Food is the most sacred thing in this land. Yeah. Food is the most. Yeah. So these are the kind of people that I like to go to, to all the, the cowboys, you know, them folks. All the cowboys, all around, you know, not when they're growing up, just a little block of land in the corner, near the fence, down near the river, to grow the big fruits. And it's what you call for, see the egg you know, mm. to support them, so CSG won't come to their country. Yeah, so you know, bring anyway. energy back into our sacred sites. It's all right, and it's sharing with the cow people, with the ones who will go over our whole story. You know, anyway, from right back then, when the first bastardization happened. Which is conciliation. And that's what conciliation has to do with It's the first time we can see that, it's to reach that point. Now it's conciliation. Now we've got a re-reach with the government. See, you understand? So. The old cowboys with all these old stories, stories. Some, some of them old cowboys, grandfather might have been the one who had a lot of skill at the hotel. See, they're going to stop back in the 70s, back in my country. Back in the country. Anyway, West Virginia. And they might still carry some sort of guilt. So, so they had these temples with all these little one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's all the people they went to make guilt. It's a temple play. So some of them, they're. Their grandsons and their sons are still living in our communities today. Even in, in, in Nimbin, but Lisbon, Casino, and Kyogo, and Wunumba, Warri, all these places, there's all still them. Our people are still there, still alive today, and through their genealogy of their grandchildren today. That's why you get racist. So much hate for our own people, which is wrong. Mm. But we can get, get out of here. Forgive me, we should forgive him. Doesn't worry, we wouldn't make that. Though. It was only the brutality and the mentality that they can only give these people both for their country. You know what I mean? It's the only brutality. And then 
Det er ved at blive at der er alt for let to pick up the phone and on the news. We had no square way we had anything but no bad way to say to each other that never happened. It was so spiritual. Our life was a spiritual journey. So 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 we did spiritual journey right to the last man standing. So a little bit, I hope you understood the message. Dharma, nothing I don't.